three tips to get you started on YouTube, my friends. So actually, I'm actually recording this video here in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. This is where I'm from, guys. And I hope this video means a lot to you because uh, I want you all, and I believe so many of you guys who have, had, you all have been through so much. You've been through so much in your life. You have so many experiences. And the fact that you're not sharing them doesn't degrade the experience, but it takes away from your ability to maybe help a lot more people than you could ever imagine that you could reach. So the first thing I wanted to say is, the first thing you guys need to do to get started on YouTube, go to Google, open up a new account. That's it. Takes three minutes. As soon as you open up a new account, you go into it, and then you can, you'll have a YouTube with your account name. You give yourself a YouTube name, give it your name, and then here's the cool thing, guys. You take a phone, I'm using a phone right now, you record a video like I am right now. I don't have any gear, yes, I have DSLR cameras, I have GoPros, I have so many different cameras, but I have no camera right now with me, except the one on my phone. So I'm literally using this to share something with you, something that I've learned, because this idea came to me while I'm walking around in my city, I'm getting a lot of my thoughts that I have back when I was living here and thinking like, I had no idea that I'd be all the way here. And I'm so glad that I documented the process of me getting to the point that I'm in right now. And I just start to share that. I start to share that. And those three steps will get you all you need. As soon as I'm done, I push stop on my camera and then upload it. Like, I feel like people are, you guys are looking, you're making it too complicated on yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys are like, well, I need this. I need a plan. I need to write things out. I need to have a great scenery. I need to be traveling. I need to, you don't need any of that, my friends. I'm using my phone right now to bring this to you. Not a fancy camera, not a fancy camera. Straight from my phone, straight to you. That's it. Some of you guys who have been, you have been through so much and you're letting your overthinking, you're letting your thinking part of your brain, well, I guess I say that you're overthinking, you're letting that stop you from sharing something that can help so many people. Like, I think, I truly believe that your key to the life you want is in your story. Like your ability to help people, your ability to share things, knowledge and add value to people, it's in your story. It's not in what you accomplish, it's in the struggle maybe you had to get there or a thought that you had that you just, oh, I should probably share that. I believe personally that I think everyone should share everything all the time, you know, and if you don't, you feel like it's too personal, what you can do is you can share it in a way that leaves out details or, or you just extract the lessons from it and teach people the lessons through it, through what you've learned and just being spontaneous, guys. The reason why this video isn't all planned out and music and all that kind of stuff, because I just thought about this right now. I was just here and I was like, you know what? Let me just, this is a beautiful place. I've chilled here on the grass growing up and it wasn't even this nice before. And I'm like, this is a beautiful view. Let me film something. Let me not overthink it. Let me just share it and not make it about me. Like, yeah, I'm what's being used for the story, but I, what, what can I say that can help you out? Like, if you just ask yourself that every time, like what's something I can share right now that could help someone else? Why should someone care what I'm about to share? And then sh you frame it and you, sh you share what you're gonna say in a way that makes other people care. Whoa, look at that. Wow. And you guys will be surprised, I promise you. I promise so many of you guys would be surprised what would happen if you just started sharing your story. And I say that because I think some of you guys have so much value to offer. All of you guys look at me like, oh, that's so cool what he's doing. I wanna have a life like that. Or I wanna be able to travel. Or I wanna be able to help many people. Or I wanna be able to have, like, well, start sharing your story. What are you waiting for? Like, what are you waiting for? Are we just so caught up that, well, you know, I'll be able to share it. I'll live forever. I can, like, guys, we're not gonna be here forever. And this is the thought that I'm having from downtown Cleveland, Ohio, where I'm from, originally where I'm from. And just made me think of like, it's something I wish I would have done sooner. I wish I did this sooner. I wish that I shared my story sooner. I wish that I shared the downs. I, Cause I feel like the biggest lie that we're told is we need to wait, wait till we have it figured out to start sharing it. Like you're always gonna be figuring out. Every lesson you're gonna be trying to figure out, well, how do I do, what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I, that's always gonna be there. You're always gonna be figuring things out. So you have to learn to embrace it because it's the figuring out, that's life. So if there's something I could share with you guys, it would be don't overthink the story. When you have a thought, find a way to share it. Find a way to share it that goes online that other people can benefit from hearing what it is that you have to share. You went through those, through those experiences, how great would it feel if you helped someone else avoid those mistakes you made? 
And I know you might think, well, Luke, you know, some people have to make the mistakes, that's how they're gonna learn. But what if you could be just a little bit of a light? It's a dark world sometimes for some people. And sometimes you never know how your story can impact people. And actually on that note, we might as well walk over here a little bit. I haven't, uh, this is actually new, believe it or not. I have not actually walked across this bridge. This was not here the last time that I was here. Oh, wow. And this is my city, guys. <laughs> this is so cool walking here. This is where I was, this is where I was raised. Young Luke. Because I thought people think that, you know, I was, uh, like Luke is a pro athlete and all that. I was not always like this. <laughs> when I was here, I was short and chubby, short and chubby. <laughs> I was short and chubby, non-athletic, not sure what to do. I was kind of made to believe by so many people that, you know, I was, uh, was, was a bad person, bad person because I didn't get good grades and I wasn't popular. And I look at my life now and it's just like, wow, I had no idea no idea i'd be where i was at right now some people have it all planned out i did not i promise you not at all and when i think about that i think of like if i would have shared my story then i wish you guys could have seen me i was young once and you guys would have liked me at 17 19 25 years old when i was 25 i kind of had things a little bit more figured out than i did when i was 16 18 years old and I think that if I would have shared that, how much that could help someone else who would be in the same situation that I was back then, that I've outgrown now and forgot about what I did before to, 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 to get through the things that I, had to, that I had to get through. So I guess the easy, I'm trying to think of the best way to say it, it's almost like what you're, what you're going through now isn't what you're gonna be going through later. And what you're going through now can be shared to help people who are helping what you're going through now so when you're going what you're going through later, you don't have to explain what you went through now because you've already done it. And online works all the time. When, you, when you're not working, it's working. That's one of the most beautiful things that I think. And that's America because we talk so loud. I'm just realizing that right now. But we're gonna keep walking. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of here. And this was like, none of this was here. When I used to live here, it's so crazy how far this has come up. There used to be nothing like this here. My mind is blown actually. <laughs> <laughs> and like I say, guys, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. This is a walk downtown, had some sushi with some of my family. And I was like, I just want to share this with you. Share your story. Go to the first, two, first minute of this, of this um, video. And I explain exactly what you need to do to start everything. Do that. Share your story. Shine your light. Keep it going. And remember to work hard, be brave. Don't forget to smile. I got to get my family. Ciao.